Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Today's video is about uh, preparing brinjal toku at home. One of the veg side dish goes very well with rice and also with all Indian breads. Easy to prepare as well. Let's check out. Here I'm using four brinjal, which is purple color, ready to cook. So let's begin the recipe by frying the stock ingredients like uh, two types of dried chili which I'm gonna fry it in the pan in a very low flame along with the dried chili I'm gonna add urad dal, chana dal, coriander seeds, jeera or cumin seeds. So these are the four ingredients we have to fry in the very low flame less than a minute and then we're gonna grind it very finely as a powder so that powder we're gonna use it to prepare the brinja toko so do not fry too much just slightly fry it and then let it rest make a powder next we'll go for the next step add four to five tablespoon of oil once the oil is hot you can add mustard seed allow mustard seed to splatter if not you will feel kind of uh, bitter taste then you can add ginger garlic chopped then 10 to 15 shallots or baby onions here I'm using a small onions it gives more taste for the toko along with that green chili few curry leaf so stir it very well and let this cook for one more minute or until we get the onion soft you can use the medium flame then you can add turmeric chili powder give it a stir friends here you can adjust the spicy consistency Then you can add one tomato medium size chopped mix very well let it cook for another one more minute or until the tomatoes are really become super soft if you wish you can close the lid and cook it so make sure the tomatoes are really soft then we're gonna add brinjal So friends, you can choose any type of uh, brinjal here to prepare this toko. Here I am using this one like a purple color. You can also go for a dark purple as well. And then grinded powder you can add it. Salt for the taste. Do not add water. Mix very well. And this powder need to be coated with. Mix very well. You can see the coating is really done nicely so let it cook for one more minute then we can see the coating will be very nice and also it gives more taste for the toko check it once so all the brinjal pieces are really coated very well Then we're gonna add tamarind juice. So as per the consistency, also the sour taste you're expecting, you can add the tamarind water. Don't forget to adjust the salt consistency. Mix very well. Then let it cook for three to four minutes in a medium flame or high flame. So make sure that uh, the brinjal pieces will not burn. So after 2 to 3 minutes you can see the brinjals are really become soft. I am still expecting it should be get cooked too much soft. 
so i'm closing the lid cooking for one more minute extra then the brinjal this is how it looks like we're gonna add some fresh coriander leaf mix very well let it cook for one more minute then the brinjal toku is ready it's one of the very easiest recipe and also goes very well with rice with all indian breads do try you will like it for sure if you like it don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much for your uh, blessings so today's motivation respect your parents they passed school without google friends it is not a just a sentence it has a lot of meaning in it i hope you will understand so finally the recipe looks like this really tasty do try thank you for your support see you again in the next video bye bye